want to take you live to the White House, where earlier today, First Lady Michelle Obama hosted Broadway's Hamilton at the White House. You can see President Obama is now in front of a podium where he's about to introduce the cast. Let's listen in. After the curtain fell. So, feeling a little deprived, uh, we invited the cast to perform today because we wanted to share this incredible musical with folks who might otherwise not get the experience. And I want to thank them so much, uh, the show's producers, for help, helping to bring Hamilton to the White House. Now, the truth is, though, they, they do owe me. Because seven years ago, Lin-Manuel Miranda came to the White House Poetry Jam. And he took the mic and he announced that he and his musical collaborator, Alex Lacamoire, <laughs> that they were going to perform a song from a hip-hop album they were working on, and I'm quoting him, about the life of somebody who embodies hip-hop, Treasury Secretary Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> and so we all started laughing, uh, but Lin-Manuel was serious. And who's laughing now? <laughs> uh, having said that, not to take undue credit or anything, but this is definitely the room where it happened, right here. <laughs> this is it, right here. No mistake. Obviously, since that time, Hamilton has become a phenomenon, a smash hit, taken Broadway by storm, captivating the entire country, winning tons of awards, turned musical haters into diehard fans. It has become a favorite in the Obama household. That was the first lady. Hooting. Was that grandma who did it? In fact, Hamilton, I'm pretty sure, is the only thing that Dick Cheney and I agree on. <laughs> now, I'm trying not to get carried away when my Secretary of Health and Human Services challenged me to a rap battle. <laughs> I had to draw the line. Uh, but this show brings unlikely folks together. Uh, and Lynn manuel if you have any ideas about a show about Congress, for example. <laughs> Now's your chance to help. <laughs> we can use the help. Uh, there is a reason why this has become a cultural phenomenon. Uh, in Ron Chernow's extraordinary biography of Alexander Hamilton, and uh, a great historian is here on at the front row. Um, uh, Lynn Manuel picked up this biography at the airport for some light beach reading. Uh, but he identified a quintessentially American story uh, in the character of Hamilton, a striving immigrant who escaped poverty, made his way to the new world, climbed to the top by sheer force of will and pluck and determination. Lin-Manuel saw something of his own family uh, and every immigrant family. And in the Hamilton that Lin-Manuel and his incredible cast and crew bring to life, a man who is just like his country, young, scrappy, and hungry. <laughs> we recognize the improbable story of America and the spirit that has sustained our nation for over 240 years. Now, in this telling, rap is the language of revolution. Hip-hop is the backbeat. In each brilliantly crafted song, we hear the debates that shaped our nation, and we hear the debates that are still shaping our nation. We feel the fierce youthful energy that animated the men and women of Hamilton's generation and with a cast as diverse as America itself, including the outstandingly talented women.
The show reminds us that this nation was built by more than just a few great men, uh, and that it is an inheritance that belongs to all of us. And that's why Michelle and I wanted to bring this performance to the White House, because Hamilton is not just for people who can score a ticket to a pricey Broadway show. Uh, it is a story for all of us and about all of us. And so we are absolutely thrilled that the show's producers have been working with the New York Public Schools, the Rockefeller Foundation, uh, the Gilder uh, Lehrman Institute, to make sure that thousands of low-income students have the chance to see the show. Uh, there's now a curriculum to give students context and a deeper meaning, uh, a deeper understanding of our nation's founding. Uh, today, Michelle hosted a workshop for a group of area high school students with some of the cast members. Uh, I understand these young men, uh, people put on some pretty terrific performances of their own. <laughs> Look at this brother, he's all like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's good. I mean, you got to have confidence. <laughs> what, what did Malia and Sasha say to me the other day? You got to be your own number one fan. <laughs> He's obviously internalized that. <laughs> we did have, we did have uh, one rule, uh, which is no dueling on the nice furniture, some of which uh, is, is antique. Um, but. The real heroes are the extraordinary educators and counselors and community members who pour their heart into their students and make learning come alive every single day. So I want to give all those educators, counselors, and community members a big round of applause for the support that you're giving to our students. We hope that this helps every teacher who spent hours trying to make the Federalist Papers teenager friendly. <laughs> we hope that the remarkable life of Alexander Hamilton will show our young people the possibilities within themselves and how much they can achieve in the span of a lifetime. Uh, and we hope that they'll walk away with an understanding of what our founders got started, that it was just a start. It was just the beginning. That's what makes America so great. You finished the story. We're not finished. There's a constant work in progress, America. We're boisterous and we're diverse. We're full of energy and perpetually young in spirit. We are the project that never ends. We make mistakes. We have our foibles. Uh, but ultimately, uh, when every voice is heard, we overcome them. It's not the project of any one person. Uh, America is what we make of it. And we only need to look at this cast performing in front of George and Martha to know that our founders could not have dreamt. I think it's fair to say that our founders couldn't have dreamt up uh, the future that they set in motion. And it's only by exercising their greatest gift to us, the gift of citizenship, that we keep our democracy alive and continue the work of creating that more perfect union. So with that, let's get started. Enjoy the show. Dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence, impoverished and squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self starter by 14. They placed him in charge of a trading charter. And every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away across the waves, he struggled and kept his guard up. Inside, he was longing for something to be a part of. The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, or barter. Then a hurricane came and 
devastation reigned. A man saw his future drip, dripping down the drain. Put a pencil to his temple, connected it to his brain. And he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain. Well, the word got around and said, this kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Get your education, don't forget from whence you came. And the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. And there's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait. Just you wait. When he was ten, his father split full of it. Dead, ridden two years later. See Alex and his mother bed. Ridden half dead. Sitting in their own sick. The scent thick. Alex got better, but his mother went quick. Moved in with the cousin, the cousin committed suicide. Left him with nothing but ruined pride. Something new inside a voice saying, Alex, you gotta, gotta fend for yourself. He started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. There would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead or destitute without a cent of restitution. Started working, working for his late mother's landlord. Trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford. Scamming for ever. Every book he can get his hands on Planning for the future See him now as he stands on the bow of a ship Headed for a new land In New York you can be a new man In New York you can be just a new you man way. In New York you can just be a new way. man In New York you can be a new man See if you can spot him. Another immigrant coming up from the bottom. His enemies destroyed his rep. America forgot him. We fought with him. Me, I died for him. Me, I trusted him. Me, I loved him. And me, I'm the damn fool that shot him. There's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton.